invite the Honorable Commissioner for Education and the Honorable Commissioner for Lands for prayers. In the name of Allah the Most High, we all believe in the right as a double winner. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the gift to be there for us for the glory of your own name. That will bring progress tonight as be yours forever and ever. And counsel this morning with us at school and the International Federation. From the Nigerian Turkish, the Vice Chancellor leading this very distinguished concert to the Home House. I mentioned the Registrar Nigeria Turkish Online, Nigeria Turkish Nile University. You're welcome, sir. We have host John Harry, the President. We have Fatih Parson. Welcome, man. We have Pasay. Okay, so the Baron Kabo, Financial Secretary. Fatih Dogo, Assistant PRO. Omar Mohammed, you are welcome to the government house. Thank you for his presentation. Welcome, sir. The second time, uh, uh, I am here in your state, as I said. Uh, I see everywhere developing going on. I, uh, the people who really have developed the country, they call, they, 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 Sultan Mehmet, they also can say it, called Hadim and Haramein. Uh, means civil servants, sir. Uh, our university uh, established uh, four years ago. Nigeria uh, Turkish Nile University in Abuja. Uh, the university has been growing and expanding since it was established four years ago. Uh, at the stage of our develop development. We would like to share with you uh, more of our dreams and your dreams. I know that you have a dreams uh, and aspiration for greater expansion and brighter tomorrow. It is, the, it is this connection that we will humbly like to invite uh, Chief Servant to our, visit our university. Also, I would like to invite to uh, uh, the visit, uh, the visit also enabled uh, Chief Sorbonne to give the servant. Also, our university, uh, the new university, four years, uh, our university, uh, member of, we are a member of International Association of Universities, sir. Uh, we are, uh, we have 26 universities in the world, some of them in Turkey, 13 universities in Turkey. Uh, for example, Istanbul, Ankara, Konya, uh, Izmir, Antalya, uh, some of them in Asia, for example, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, uh, uh, Kyrgyzstan, and Cambodia, uh, Turkmenistan also. Uh, some of them in Europe, for example, uh, Albania, Bosnia, Poland, and Budapest. Uh, some of them in the U.S., we have two universities in the U.S., our association, and latest university in Nigeria, Kaduna, Kano, Yobe, Ogun State, and Lagos. Uh, totally 16 uh, international uh, schools we have in of Nigeria. Uh, also, uh, high quality private hospital. Uh, uh, so, uh, we are waiting also for the deposit. Dialogue center in Abuja, sir. Dialogue, we have. The Chief Servant, Dr. Mazu Babangida Aliyu, sir. So as a Surat Group family member, association of businessmen and investors of Nigeria and Turkey. Since 2010, we have started our operations here. Mainly our aim is that uh, try to bring Turkish investors to Nigeria and also, on the other hand, try to take Nigerian businessmen to Turkish market. Uh, mostly we are trying to do uh, in partnership together with our brothers Nigerian businessmen. So every month, uh, basically, sector by sector, we are trying to take some business group to Turkey 
and also bring Turkish businessmen to Nigeria. For now, we have a organization together with ECOWAS. Uh, we call it ECOWAS Turkish Trade, so Trade Show. It will take place in ECO Hotel it's from 26 of March to 28 of March. So, if you permit me, it is our honor to invite you as a special guest to cut our ribbon for flag of ceremony in Echo Hotel, 26th of March. So it will be a big honor for us to see and receive you over there at Lagos Echo Hotel. And apart from that, uh, every year in international area, we are uh, trying to organize a, we call it International Trade Bridge in Istanbul. Together, three or four days and discuss all the business opportunities it will be sector by sector, I said. This year will be construction. And then will also another trade bridge center for uh, international. That will be the machine. Every month we have a program or in Istanbul. Okay, for the whole presentation we have. Also, and 10 businessmen to come and show the. So, I want, if you permit me.
good relationship with Nigerian universities and our, our universities. Uh, for example, two weeks ago, we visited the uh, Futmin universities, Nigerian universities. Uh, also, uh, dear sir, uh, we have uh, from NUC and uh, Before you go, let me retaliate. <laughs> and let's, let's, let us give you literature to put in the library. Children eligible for enrollment into universal basic education schools, 
year which will provide the long-term benefits of covering these harmful practices through education. B. Sensitization of traditional community leaders in the 25 local government areas of the state on the negative effects of these harmful practices. C. Introduction of new legislations or amendment of existing legislation based on the outcome of the research to incorporate the harmful, barbaric, and outdated practices with prescribed penalties against perpetrators. Chief Solomon, sir, in line with your transformation policies of making Niger State one of the top three state economies in Nigeria by the year 2020, you will agree that most important resource in achieving this de developmental benchmark is the human resource which abounds in our urban and rural areas. In this, if these harmful traditional practices are reduced to the barest minimum or at best eliminated completely, the sky will be the limit for the developmental progression of Niger State. A research of this importance and magnitude requires funding. In view of this, a committee was set up to look into the fundamental cause of the research and the committee recommended the sum of 10 million naira for the project, provision of fillers, vehicle, accommodation and other logistics. FIDA, Niger State Branch, thank you of our request for our pastor. Sometimes matters come to us from the rural areas requiring not just our attention but our presence. Most times we are unable to meet us. I pray your indulgence, sir. That you please grant us that request. Back to the issue at hand. <laughs> and the healers from the state government for this research. Sir, your servant leadership initiative, which is translated into reality, is one of the reasons that FIDA felt it necessary to seek your support and encouragement towards eradicating this menace in our society. We thank you immensely, sir, again, for your willing support in the cause of women and children. You are highly appreciated, sir. Thank you. Education has been that you have brought, but you have brought, you said that education should be top priority in any community. Any community that is educated, that is knowledgeable, that community can never go back to barbaric practices that we have just had that is happening in our meets. I was happy that when it came to eating, everyone who had gone to the university here smiled. <laughs> For those of us who went to the university when things were good and you were entitled to one chicken per meal or at least three, four eggs. In fact, we see, we love, we... I think I should be careful so that they don't feel like they have been cheated. <laughs> <laughs> like the British, we even had tea time. But I know that things have really gone bad including our secondary schools. And that was why I said every commissioner, every advisor, every senior government officer should be visiting the schools in this environment and to sit down and eat with the children. If you find it difficult to eat, then you must understand what is going on in our community. You saw how the university life should be. Like I've always said, both your offices and your schools should be better than your home so that you'll be motivated to wake up, to look forward to waking up early, to rush to work or to go to school. If the school environment is good, you will find that you find it easy to assimilate the knowledge that has been disseminated to you. So I thank you very much for coming. You have given me two invitations. In principles, I accept. And by the grace of God, I will be with you. The part of why there, when you have a good thing, 
and people don't know about it is as bad as any other thing. If we have a good thing, you must market it properly so that people will know that you are there. And I believe that already, even here, there are some of us whose children are already in that, in either the secondary or the university level. I believe so. And anybody who is looking for good education should be ready to pay for it properly. Particularly given the circumstances that we're in. For me, I have been to Turkey as a government official when I was in the maritime sector. And the beautiful way uh, from Ankara to Istanbul, I deliberately came by road to appreciate the beauty of the road of the mountain and the type of exhilaration that you will pass through because in some mountains you will see as if you will go down the place. is a very beautiful country for anyone who would have the chance to go there. And they are the only country now in the world that enjoys both of being in Europe and in being in Asia. So, I also invite you, those who can afford, I think I have sent so many people to Turkey from the cabinet. There are some who have gone there already. And the, those who can afford, please go. They also, you saw in the, in the what we saw now about the businesses. I, I guess most of our women now go to Turkey for their wedding uh, beds and what have you. I'm aware of many who have gone there to do that. No, uh, Mrs. Mariam Jibol had her marriage before she went to Turkey. <laughs> so I invite you to please relate very well and uh, visit the school and see what you have because you must pay attention to the education of your children. Don't leave it to government alone. Don't leave it to the community alone. You must do something if you want the best for your children. I thank you very much and I welcome you and I hope we will we'll have opportunity to meet again, not only in the university, not only in the co-hotel, but in other places that we will be meeting. For FIDA, although we are looking forward to another study, what is the, what are some of the reasons behind, why would you want to circumcise a, a girl? What are some of the reasons? No, you already, if you write it and you say it, you must know the primary reasons now. Why? Yes, madam. Now, anyone in FIDA who is the director of research? Can you set up a committee? They visited the banner just to investigate the right. In the village, there is no way to intervene. They might even die, the two of them. Okay. You wanted to add something? Yes, sir. Is it true, with all the active men that we have who take IG and go, that there is same sex marriage in Niger State? I was wondering, is it? Uh, I thought this is more in secondary schools where it is out of curiosity and uh, things happen. But do we have. Yes, ma'am. The Commissioner Youth Affairs. Uh, a committee, I think the. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that the girl. Then the feeder will provide the secretariat. For the committee, so so that you come out with all the boundaries and other things for the research board, so that it becomes a proper research rather than a rustic method where we go now and start talking about things we are not too sure of. Thank you very much. We give you two weeks or three weeks to come back to us. Three weeks. Three weeks. Thirty. Three weeks. Okay. <coughs> Any other question for me, yes, sir? Yeah, no. To put the education. Uh, uh, Dr. Mahmoud. I think it's important Dr. Mahmoud gets there because, uh, no, you see, uh, for us, let them be involved. But sometimes, 
unless those who are lucky to be dreaming. Sometimes it's part of socialization. The only when it becomes a problem is where it becomes a habit that even after leaving school, you continue. But most people, I think after a while, they stop that nonsense. You know, but some, I think it continues. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Different. That is supposed to bring our attention. Whatever it is, whether family battery or whatever battery, is the authority. Your ministry is one, gender is another. And the ministry of justice. When you get this information, first contact justice or gender. And then you bring them to be able to help you uh, probably publicize the matter so that people would know that that's a matter. I'm, I was going to ask them how they finished with the border thing, where a man poured something on, the, on a particular lady and uh, he even rushed to Mecca, came back. How can you go to Mecca when you can do those things? <laughs> okay, sir. Yes, madam, there. You get a party, get a paper to write some of the questions. Also, I'm sure somebody will ask about the education. Yes. Thank you, sir. Um, we just uh, advise or whatever of the teachers that also reduce the, uh, the threat to society. We get more problems from the so called religious. They even find other, like they say, the devil can cut the scripture to defend itself. I was aware of some malams when we were younger. We see them doing what they were, what they were telling us was bad. A malam will even tell you, you know, if I do it, I will be able to ask God to forgive me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but, but please, the, the, the religious ministry and other organizations and the religious advisor should also make their own research and see into it. There is a Nepal, I would have been surprised. Oh my God. He's, he's a consortium. Other part of a business. Because what I do now is every month I take, I, they test me. And for everything, including HIV, every month. So I know what I suffer. Meaning, I'm not coming to your hospital yet. <laughs> I'm okay for now. But I will be sending you some people that are not too sure of their. <laughs> your part of that, you want to answer one or two questions or not? So how come you didn't remind me that they should get the first? The former Commissioner of Finance. Do you remember? So why is the boss? But that just it. What was apparent is social deviation. People try to shy away from realities. As she said it now, sir, if you go to some of the rural communities, we might be confronted with the reality that they're told. Proving our knowledge of many other matters. And we hope. Mr. Speaker, you are already engaged, so you are already part of the family. And uh, I'm happy. Yeah, now, uh, no, you are not there too? The concert. The pamphlet. You are pamphlet? Yes, pamphlet. Which one? You mentioned education. Sit down. Thank you very much. <laughs> the most important part, and I think I, I want us to take this, that no matter how wonderful you are doing something, until people know about it, you are doing nothing. And you must go out to let people understand. <clears throat> And this is part of what we call the marketing for the wonderful university to come to you telling you that we are around. I think that is what we should be doing. And as I said, government, I was saying here that we seem only to react. Instead of letting people know what we are doing, we, we wait until somebody abuses us in the paper, then we begin to react. 
or we begin to mop up if we are aware of what is happening. I think we should be more proactive in whatever we do. And for those who really want to lay a foundation for their family, you must go out to get the best that you can. And with what we know about public and private institutions in the country, put your money where your mouth is. I thank you very much for coming.